Welcome Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is your general alert reading for November 4th through the 10th. Cancer, you've got six major arcana starting off this read. This is going to get good. Stick around. Hey guys, if you're looking to get your weekly love fix, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified when we have new releases. Also, please keep in mind this is a general reading and it will not resonate with everyone. I'm also available for personal readings. All the information is in the description box below and you will also get $10 off your first reading with me. So let's get into this. Cancer, you're starting out with the devil. This is Capricorn. This could be something that's toxic. This could be um, overindulgence in alcohol, drugs, overworking. Take it how it resonates. It's coming next to the emperor here, who's an older man. It could be an Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries. It could be a toxic relationship with an Aries. This person is older, stubborn. This person wants it's his way or the highway, but he will take charge of a situation. So you got something toxic with an Aries. It was a choice between two people. This could be a soulmate because the lover's card, underneath the lover's card is the two of cups. But this is a choice between two. That's Gemini. And next to that we have Scorpio, which is the death card. And so something ended or transforms. So you have something toxic with an Aries. He had a choice between two people and one of them, he ended one. He's hopeful here with the star. This is Aquarius. He's having some hope here. He was, he's wanting some success. But he ended something. And he's gone within and shed some light on it with the hermit, which is Virgo. So you could be dealing with a um, Aquarius, a Virgo, a Scorpio, or a Gemini, or an Aries. So. This person's gone within and shed some light on some things, something that was toxic over here. And they're wanting wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. So getting the wish fulfillment, you have this King of Wands. This is somebody who's charismatic. In his low vibration, he would, he would be um, somebody who would be a ladies' man. But... You also have the Queen of Wands on the board here, so this could be a true match. This could be a karmic soulmate relationship. It could be because they both come under the devil. So this could be a karmic soulmate relationship. But this is somebody who is very charismatic, likes a lot of attention, likes to be out in public, likes to hang around with a lot of people. So, but he's offering his cup comes under the emperor these could be two different people here or it could be it could he could be the emperor this could be him in a lower vibration you know being um wanting a lot of attention but aries like a lot of attention any way you look at it so this is the knight of cups here this is um coming in to offer your love to somebody and he wants to offer his love to a two of cups, a person who he thinks is his two of cups. Because he had a choice between two people, but he ended a relationship with somebody, possibly a Scorpio. Um, this is his two of cups. This is a soulmate relationship. Could be a toxic relationship. I mean, a, a karmic relationship. Because the devil's here. So there's something toxic here. It could have been what he cut out with a third party that was toxic and so now he's wanting to come back and offer his his cup to somebody this is the three of swords somebody he broke their heart the ending broke their heart so next to that we have the ten of cups this is the happy wife happy life card this is having all your cups filled you know, having everything that you need in a relationship, the Ten of Cups. Because you're, you broke somebody's heart. That's right in the center of this read. You broke somebody's heart. I don't know, Cancer, if, if it was you that broke somebody's heart or the person you're dealing with broke your heart. 
but something ended so something new could begin. It's coming next to this Ten of Cups. Now, there was some fighting, and somebody's walked away here. This ending. You've got three endings on the board. You've got the ending with the death card. You have the world card, and this is also beginnings. And you have the Five of Swords, where this is conflict that, you know, that got really bad where somebody's walked away from the conflict. Could have been what was toxic here. Now you have this person, which is the Queen of Wands. This is the person that walked away. This is the person that walked away. So did you end a karmic relationship with somebody? Because you have the King and Queen here. Now they could be suited, and it could be their soulmates, but there could be karmic soulmates. So there was an ending here, and she's the one that walked away. With the Nine of Wands, this is somebody who's very guarded. This is the Wounded Warrior card. This is being very guarded and, uh, you know, been there, done that. It's coming under the Love Cup, you know, offering their love to somebody. Because you have the Eight of Cups here, too. You've got a lot of ending here, Cancer. There's the Eight of Cups. You're in search of your Two of Cups, which would be your Ten of Cups. You have that all on the board, so you have the person here that is your two of cups, ten of cups. But you're you're walking away from something. You're walking away from um, and being guarded. You walked away from the conflict, and you're very guarded about this situation. Now, this could be, because these are wands, this could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius you could be dealing with. Um, you, there's a lot of uh, wands on the board. You've got... You've got Capricorn, you've got Aries, you've got Gemini, you've got Scorpio, you've got Aquarius, and you've got Virgo. You've also got, that looks about it. You've got, everybody's here. There's, a, there's even cups as well. So somebody's walked away, and now somebody is going to speak a truth here with a page of uh, page of swords. This could be spying, though. This could be somebody spying on you. This could be on the internet. Maybe they're cho uh, they're they're watching your social networks or your your page. Uh, this is under this this broken heart. So somebody could be spying on you um, and seeing what's going on with you. But somebody's gained some perspective here. Well, they've gone within. This is a person who uses their intuition. This is the, the, the high priestess. She's used her, her intuition. She's not speaking to this person. This, this uh, queen of wands is not speaking to this king of wands or this emperor. She's using her, her intuition, and she's keeping her mouth shut. This is his ten of cups that he's having hope with. Somebody's made a decision here with the two of wands. Which direction do I want to go? Do I want to come back and speak a truth and, and make things right and accept that cup of love here with, from somebody that broke my heart? Where there was deception and a lot of conflict with somebody that was older. Now, this could be a father figure up here. So you could have dealt with a father figure and, you know, but you had a choice between two, and you ended a relationship. Did you end your relationship with a karmic soulmate? Because it could be this emperor had the choice between two. Something was toxic with this emperor. He had a choice between two, but he ended it. He could have ended it with this, you know, this could have been him in a lower vibration. Could be the, the king of wands in a lower vibration. Somebody wants a lot of attention because she also likes a lot of attention. So it could have been a lot of narcissism going on here. Somebody who's very narcissistic. Um, but now it's coming under him. It, this, it's the emperor here that wants to offer his love to his soulmate. These four cards right here. You got the emperor, which is Aries, and a choice between two people. But he's wanting to come in and offer his love to one person. And it's his two of cups. So this looks like, you know, he's made a decision because he's wanting his ten of pentacles. This is having everything that you possibly could ever need with the ten of pentacles. It's better than the ten of cups. So what I'm seeing here, Cancer, 
somebody has broken your heart, first of all. In the center of the reed, there's a broken heart. But you had you have an Aries up here who there was a toxic relationship between and under right under the devil, you have the king and queen of of one. So this could be a karmic relationship that ended. And now this in his higher vibration, this Aries is wanting to come in and offer his cup to the person he thinks is his soulmate, his ten of cups, because he broke that person's heart. Now he's ended this this karmic soulmate over here. He's ended that relationship. He's having hope because he's gone within. Now he's wanting wish fulfillment. Now he ended he in he wants to end the conflict. This is ending the conflict. Something ends so something new can begin. So ending the conflict. He's gone within about that. Now he's going to come in and speak to you about this. Because he's used his intuition, he could have had an awakening about this. If this is a karmic soulmate that that was ended, he knows who his two of cups is. It's this person, this high priestess here. So he's make, made that decision to come in and have his ten of pentacles here. Now, under the bottom of the deck, we have a reconciliation with the judgment card. Because there's some regret here with the Five of Cups. He's regretting, and there's an anxiety, regret and anxiety about this. You know, this must have been pretty, you know, well, it's coming as a broken heart. So this was really toxic. That relationship he had with that karmic was very toxic. Now, he's gaining perspective about this. He's anxious. He's regretting it. He wants to reconcile. He's gaining perspective. Because he left somebody out in the cold. He left this, he left his uh high priestess out in the cold. And now he wants to work on a relationship. He could be at a distance from her. And he wants to find balance. So, wow, Cancer. Take that how it resonates. Please leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful week.